IES and Gaia Geothermal are excited to announce a powerful new link between the virtual environment and ground loop design software packages. This new functionality will allow you to optimize both the building loads and the geothermal well field design and performance, and help pave the way for more efficient designs. Here's how it works. In this example, our virtual environment model is set up and ready to run. Let's quickly review the input data. We have our building geometry created, and we have our thermal conditions set up. You can see in the room conditions, we have our set points for heating, cooling, and relative humidity levels. We have our system data defined, including minimum flow rates for ventilation air. We have internal gain set up for people, lighting, and computers. And building infiltration is set up as well. Looking at the constructions, you can see that we've created and assigned all of the appropriate construction types for this building. Now it's a matter of actually running a simulation and taking that data and using it to populate the GLD model. Apache Sim is IES's hourly dynamic simulation engine. Now when we go to run our simulation, it's important that we set up our parameters appropriately such that the results are presented in a manner that are suitable for import into GLD. Make sure that your simulation is set to run from January 1st through December 31st. We recommend a simulation time step of six minutes or less to ensure that the time lag effects of heat transfer are appropriately accounted for. Ensure that your reporting interval is set up for 60 minutes. This will present one set of results for each hourly interval. And a preconditioning period of 10 days or so will allow the building to reach equilibrium before the simulation begins. So with these pieces of data set, we hit simulate. When the simulation is complete, it's now time to extract the relevant data that we're going to need to import into GLD. First select chiller load from the Vista output data. Next select boiler load. And as you're well aware, these results can be produced in a graphical fashion. So if we did uh, want to review how the loads varied across the course of the year, uh, we can visualize that using IES's graph generating features. Now what we're really looking for here is the numerical data, so if we use the table generating feature, we can see the hour by hour output data for both the chiller load and the boiler load. Now all we need to do is hit this copy button here to copy the chart data and then paste it into an Excel spreadsheet. There's a bit of reformatting of the data required in order to make sure that it can be read properly by GLD. So what we need to do is select the first two columns and actually delete them, and then shift the output data down one row by inserting an extra row. And that's really all there is to it. Now you just need to go ahead and save this file as a CSV file. Lastly, I'll show you how to take this loads data and bring it into GLD for a geothermal analysis. Start by opening up the loads module. Create a new loads project and we'll import the CSV file that we just saved. Navigate to the location where you saved the file. And the data will be brought in. Now if we want to assess the data month by month, we can actually click this monthly loads button and it'll summarize the peaks and the total loads for each month. And the next thing we'll do is actually set up a pump and you know you can see here by clicking the select pump we have the option to select from a wide range of manufacturers data. I'll go ahead and select a heat pump that's likely to be used on a project of this size. In this case we're going to go with about a three ton unit. Next we'll set up our geothermal heat exchanger type. It can be either a vertical borehole, horizontal heat exchanger, or a surface water type of heat exchanger. In this case, let's go with the vertical boreholes. You can see here we have the options to set up parameters related to the fluids, the soil, the tube configuration, the number and 
pattern of the boreholes and other information related to other energy consumption by the system and your general project information. When the input parameters are set to meet your design's requirements, you come over to the results tab and hit calculate. The output data will give us the number of boreholes required as well as their depth. We can assess how the ground temperature will change over time and we can even see some information about the unit's capacity, load, efficiencies, and system flow rates. All of the design data that we're going to need to actually design and specify our system. You now know the process to utilize the link between IES's virtual environment and Gaia Geothermal's ground loop design software. Remember that accurate building loads calculations are critical for optimizing geothermal heat exchanger designs. Oversizing loads will result in oversized and expensive geothermal designs. The VE-GLD combo helps designers optimize their loads and loop field designs in a flexible and powerful way.